Men in America are programmed by the media to have a certain point of view on circumcision. The very first time I ever heard that a man can have their genitals mutilated as an infant was in Seinfeld. A sitcom with a laugh track and everything. So, television and movies, especially in America, they like to use male genital mutilation as a joke to desensitize the public to genital mutilation. Uh, even in Seinfeld in the 90s, that show described how circumcision affects a man's ability to feel sexual pleasure. But over the years, in the early 2000s and in the 2010s, the media decided to use a purely comical approach rather than simultaneously educating on the truths about circumcision. Um, when you couple that with the fact that circumcision is a taboo topic that most men just don't want to think about, they will just see what they see on the TV and emulate that rather than having their own original thoughts. Having original thoughts about circumcision is a very difficult, often painful thing to do. Um, in Meet the Fockers, Robert De Niro showed off, or Robert De Niro's character showed off his foreskin contained in some kind of ceramic. And it ended up flying out of the jar and ended up in somebody's food. It was all played for laughs. But what if this was a woman's clitoral hood? that was amputated from her when she was an infant. It wouldn't be played for laughs, it would be on a horror or a drama, highlighting the dark parts of the human experience. When genital mutilation affects men, it can be played for laughs. Um, in the office, you can see how they associated one of the stranger characters, Dwight Schrute, with circumcision. He claimed that he performed his own circumcision. And yet later in the show, he did something to Jim's son, I forget. But he told the nurse to cancel the circumcision. And the nurse sternly replied, he's being circumcised, highlighting how men cannot escape circumcision. They are born infants, vulnerable, and subject to whatever the adults around them decide to subject them to. So I'm curious to know what kind of uh, circumcision jokes you have seen in the media or what times you've seen maybe the media has shown circumcision in its true and uncomfortable light. Um, any instances in TV, movies, books, anything? Leave a comment about what you've seen about the media trying to portray this circumcision issue as more and more people are beginning to talk about it.